हेलो एवरीवन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड कंप्लीट द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सीवेज एंड सो इन टूडे क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लास्ट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट इज बायोलॉजिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स द सीवेज कंसिस्ट ऑफ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर लाइक बैक्टीरिया फंजाय प्रोटोजोआ एलगी एक्सेट्रा These microorganisms decompose the sewage into harmless components. The bacteria are however more active and exist in abundance. Microorganisms are present in significant quantities in sewage which primarily originates from human excreta. The bacteria are however more active and mainly present 5 to 15 billion per liter of sewage the microorganisms are able to survive in extreme environments for example from low to high ph or from low to high temperature their simplicity and minimal survival requirements allow them to exist in diverse situations also so these are the basic characteristics of sewes then decomposition of sewes or decay of sewes the decomposition of sewes is mostly done by bacteria by the following two process so number 1 is aerobic respiration or aerobic decomposition aerobic decomposition is the decomposition of organic matter by aerobic bacteria in the presence of sufficient amount of oxygen this process is also called oxidation in this process the organic matter is decomposed into carbon dioxide nitrates and sulfates so basically if air or oxygen is available freely to the waste water in dissolved form then the biodegradable organic matter will undergo aerobic decomposition caused by aerobic bacteria then number 2 anaerobic respiration or anaerobic decomposition so if free dissolved oxygen is not available to the sewage then anaerobic decomposition is happen so anaerobic decomposition is the decomposition of organic matter by bacteria in the absence of oxygen these anaerobic bacteria survive by extracting and consuming the bounded molecular oxygen present in compounds like nitrates and sulfates so these are some examples of decomposition or cycle of decomposition so one example is carbon cycle so this is a figure in this figure or the figure shows the carbonaceous organic matter on oxidation releases carbon dioxide which is its final end product this carbon dioxide or co2 when used by plants through photosynthesis gets converted into plant carbohydrates fats and proteins or sugars which when eaten by animals change into animal fats and proteins the waste is produced by animals and their dead bodies will again form carbonaceous organic matter thus completing the carbon cycle then another example of decomposition is nitrogen cycle so nitrogenous organic matter get oxidized to ammonia then to nitrites and finally to nitrates which when consumed by plants through photosynthesis form plant proteins or plant life the plant proteins when consumed by animals form animal proteins the waste is produced by animals and their dead bodies will again form nitrogenous organic matter thus 
completing the nitrogen cycle so this much so today the chapter 7 is complete in next lecture or next class we will start chapter 8 thank you